Welcome to Grasp Skills. We are into training and consulting surveys across the globe. Valuation of shares using dividend discount models. So the background of this uh, is that when you have a shareholder who has 10, 20, 50 shares, the only cash that he gets is when he gets a dividend from the company or at the end of the holding period when he sells the shares. So to understand dividend discount models, we need to understand what are dividends. Dividends are payout given by a corporation to its shareholders. It's paid out of the profits and it is paid in cash. So both things are required. A company should have profits and the company should have cash. Now let us suppose we have a company, I will say Microsoft, and it has paid, let us say, $20 dividend per share this year. Now naturally, I want to be a shareholder of Microsoft. So this $20 is history to me. It does not mean anything to me, but I'm interested to know, hey, what is going to be the dividends Microsoft is going to give next year? And now I look at their uh, 10K, 10Q filing, and then I find out that, okay, their dividends tend to grow at about 6% per annum. Great. And for me to invest in a company like Microsoft means that I'm not putting that money in a fixed deposit, or I'm not putting that money in any other technology company, and I'm foregoing all other options, and I'm investing that money in Microsoft. And now let us suppose I require a 12% return on investment to invest in Microsoft. So what is it that I'll be willing to pay to be a shareholder in Microsoft? That is given by a gentleman named Gordon and Shapiro. Gordon and Shapiro devised a model wherein my next year's dividend, I'm going to discount it. This formula that you see on the board is modeled on present value of growing perpetuity. Growing perpetuity. Wherein the present value of growing perpetuity is an amount which is growing at the rate of G and we discount this cash to arrive at the present value of the growing perpetuity. So this model that Gordon Shapiro made is modeled on this. So now I can plug in the values 20 into 1.06. Why 1.06? Because something is growing by a factor of 6%. So it is 1.06. If something was uh, decaying by a factor of say 8%, then I would have taken 0.92. 12% minus 6%. So once I do this, I'm just doing this intermediate step so that you understand it well. Now I'm going to do the final step. That is $20 into one plus the growth rate is $21.2 divided by 12% minus 6%. So here is the inputs into the model. And now I'm going to get the output into the model. I'm going to get the output as $353 is what I'll be willing to pay for a share of Microsoft. I will compare this with the current market price. If the current market price is let's say 250, then wow, something that is worth $353, I can buy it at 250. So it is available at a bargain. But if it is available at 450, then I have to think because what is worth only 353, why would I pay 450 and buy that? So this is how I will make my decision under the dividend discount models. And um, there are a lot of methods that we can use in the dividend discount model. Here, the model that I used was called as constant growth model wherein the dividends are growing constantly. I also have another variety of dividend discount model, which is called as the two-stage growth model, wherein we have a company that is growing very rapidly, 
but it is likely to go very rapidly for the next 10 years and from then on the growth is going to drop so that is the next item on the agenda we thank you for your valuable time please feel free to contact us